Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, we are talking about the Shutter Original Dead House Dark. So, this is like I mentioned, a Shutter Original, and I just kind of stumbled upon this while looking on Shutter for something to watch. If you don't know what Shutter is, it's basically like Netflix for horror. Uh, I this is not sponsored. They do not sponsor me. I just have an account and wanted to watch something on there. So stumbled upon this. It is set up to be a horror anthology, which if you are new to my channel and you don't know, I love a good horror anthology. I mean, you can see my trick or treat Sam uh, and Popsicle in the background there. I just, I love good horror anthology. So when I saw this one, I was excited to give it a try. Now it does have three out of five skulls on there, which I feel like is pretty okay rating for this one. Um, I agree with that rating. I'll start out by saying that. Now I did feel at first like it seemed a little misleading. The description of it does read, in six interconnected story tales of terror, a woman receives a mystery box from the dark web. Each item within will gradually reveal a dark and troubling truth, a Shutter original. So this one is done a little bit different. It's not in the same style of like Trigger Treat, Tales of Halloween, uh, two of my favorite horror anthologies where it's just one consecutive film and everything connects together. This is done in episodes and each episode is so different. So I was kind of a little like, okay, where is this going? How are these gonna connect? But it does eventually get there. So you do kind of have to hold on for a little bit, but I do think that it is worth it. Each episode is really short. They're about 15 minutes. So it's not gonna take up a whole lot of your time to watch all of them consecutively. Uh, and, but I do think that that is the best way to do it. Um, so I will go over kind of each episode uh, and what they're about. So the first episode is titled Halloween and it follows these two sisters after they are leaving a party and they stumble upon the remnants of a car crash. Now everything is seen and done through a dash cam which is kind of cool. Uh, so you mostly just hear the sisters talking and see what's going on in front of them. So kind of POV style, uh, which is interesting. This one definitely takes a bit of a turn, which I was not expecting, uh, that I really liked. I don't want to give it away. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers in this. It was definitely a good first one, good way to kind of open up the series. Now the second one is called No Pain, No Gain, and it is about this runner who she gets contacted by this famous coach and is put through the ringer of all of these kind of tests that she must do that really push her limits. This one I thought was kind of okay. I will say definitely trigger warning for self-harm, uh, self-mutilation in this. So there were parts that I kind of even had to like look away at. So if that's something that is hard for you to watch. Um, you may not be able, you may not want to watch that one and it definitely gets pretty graphic at times. The way it ended was kind of eh. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like kind of a mediocre ending for that one. So that one was definitely not like my favorite. Uh, the third one is called The Staircase and it is about this group of mystery hunters. They're like ghost hunter style vloggers. They go to these mysterious places and they end up going to this location where a man was recently found dead to try to figure out what happens and uh, some crazy shit happens. It's, if you like found footage style, you'll probably like this one. If you're not new to the channel, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of found footage. I think it's okay. So I found this one just kind of all right. The Fourth one is called A Tangled Web We Weave, which has this old man who is having a bit of a rat problem in his apartment that he can't get rid of. And he is meant to go on this date with this woman that he met online. This one, I was like, okay, where is this going? How is this all gonna be connected? This is where I was like, I'm starting to get a little lost. Like. How are they going to connect all three of these stories together? And and it was just a very strange one. I don't think that it went where you kind of expected it to. It again has a twist in this one. 
uh, that is really good and I really liked and I I think at first I definitely thought that this one was gonna be my favorite uh, because it was really really good uh, it would probably be my second favorite behind the fifth one which is just called mystery box and this is the one that connects all of these stories together uh, it is about a woman who finds a mystery box at her front door and you start to see items in this box that connect to the previous four stories. So that was really, really cool. Um, and again, this one takes a bit of a twist. Now, if you see, if you have seen this and you saw that coming, not that surprising. I could definitely see how people would see this one coming, but for me, I didn't. I will say they play on mental illness with this one, but not really in a negative way so much. Like she's like, it's not villainized by any means. It's part of the story. And I think they did an okay job with this one. And it definitely uh, kind of, and it, it pulls out the heartstrings a little bit in this one, but I thought it was really cool how they managed to include details from the previous ones into this one. Um, now there is a last episode. There are six episodes in total, um, which I was like, okay, that's weird because the fifth episode entangles everything. So the sixth episode really is just like its own thing. Um, I don't really know, I guess, why I put so much included this, unless I missed a detail. Now, if you know what I'm missing, let me know in the comments below, because I just, this one was just on its own, a separate thing, um, and was not so much a fan of this one. It's called My Empire of Dirt, and it is about this woman who is a death midwife. If you don't know what that is, it's basically what it sounds like. And someone that helps people who are dying with that transition kind of is there just for s support uh, mentally, maybe medically. I think it probably depends on the person, which I'm totally down with. I think that that is so cool. Um, people, you know, bless people that have the ability to do that. Um, but this one, it's a little icky. It deal she is helping a woman who is a hoarder um, with her crossover process, and the woman is just suffering in this case. Um, and I mean, I get the like she's there to be helpful, be supportive um, in letting this woman just die in her house, but just the topics and the way things were kind of handled and it made me feel a little little icky with it. Um, I just, I don't know, wasn't a big fan of this one and just also the fact that it really didn't play into the rest of it made no sense to me. But with that being said, all in all, I generally like this. It was pretty good. It was an interesting way to do an anthology. I'll say that. Not Definitely not the first to ever do an episode style anthology. Uh, just the way that they did it was very interesting. I, and I ended up enjoying it. So I think that if you, if this sounds interesting to you and you have a Shutter account, definitely suggest checking it out. If you have seen this, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. And I will see you all again later with another video. Bye.